Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the concept of hiding and unhiding. Now, that's a very basic concept, but it's actually one of the most crucial things that you can do as someone who is mesh modeling things. Let's say we wanted to focus on the monkey head. Well, we have these other objects here in our scene, and so we have a couple of things that we could do. We could just move them along the x-axis super far away so that we don't see them, uh, and we can focus on our monkey head here. And then whenever we want to um, access them, we can select their name in the hierarchy and hit the numpad period, which will then allow us to find and focus on that object in the scene. Now that is one option. It's not the best if you're trying to build a scene that you're going to render for an animation or whatever, but if you're just building a bunch of assets and you want to shuffle them around, that's an okay way of doing it as well. So let's go ahead and undo those changes and then uh, numpad period to get back to where we were at. Now we have a couple of other options. So we can select all of the objects we would like to hide and simply hit the H key, which is our hide key. Now that will go ahead and hide uh, only what we have selected, whether it's a mesh object, a curve, a light, camera, whatever. And then if you want to bring those back, simply hit Alt-H, and it will unhide all the objects that were hidden. We have another way of hiding them, though, uh, by collection. So if you've organized your objects into multiple collections, what we can do is go up here to the Collection button, click on that, and then we'll see Table Items and Monkey Head are the two collections that I currently have. And so what I can do is just say, you know what? I don't want to be able to see the table items collection. And then anything inside that one collection will be hidden, regardless of where it's at in the scene. As long as it's in that collection, it's no longer going to be shown. We can also then change, hey, I don't want to, maybe I want to see them, but I don't want to select them. That's another way of not interacting with certain objects. So you can just say, I don't want to select these things, or I just don't want to see them, or maybe both. That doesn't just work in object mode, it also works in edit mode. And so if we were to go into edit mode, uh, you can see that we have some faces selected. And generally it would look like that, but I've already kind of done this once um, for this recording. And so what we'll do is we'll select all of these. And let's say I wanted to just work on the eyeball. Well, we can do that um, by simply grabbing the faces around the eyeball and hitting H, which will hide them. Now that doesn't delete the faces, and if we switch into object mode, you can see the faces are still rendering in object mode. This just allows us to hide them so that we can get in and work on some detail with the eye. So that is a very useful tool, especially as you get more and more complicated in your mesh objects that you create, or if you start building more complicated scenes and you want to be able to hide uh, maybe the background objects, or maybe a character or something that you're not working on currently so that you don't have to uh, see all of them and you can focus on what you're trying to work on. So I know that's a very basic skill, but just to kind of wrap this up, H will hide objects and then Alt-H will bring back everything that was hidden. So even though we only hid the monkey head on that last hide, Alt-H brings back everything that's marked as hidden, um, but it does not make it selectable again. So for that, you'd have to come back up to the collection and turn on the ability to interact with the objects that are inside that collection. Now, I know that's a basic concept, but it is, uh, like I said, vitally important. So I hope that helps you. And I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.